We'll solve this now. Uh, what we're going to have to do to solve this is use the pseudo steady state hypothesis. Uh, so we get a more general answer. You don't want to mess around with the stuff going on in your body. You want the real on, hardcore, what's the answer? We don't know what the slow step is right now. We can make assumptions later. But at this point, we don't know what it is. So. OK. Uh, so what's the intermediate? ES is our intermediate. So oh, what rate do I want to write this out for? The second, the one that makes the products. Uh, and in your book, I think it called, instead of rate two, it just says RP, rate of production of the products. So, uh, which says right here, rate of production of the products. So I'm going to use RP. That's K2 times ES. You'd be done. However, you've got an intermediate in your rate loss. Not acceptable. Can't measure that. So, we're going to use our PSSH for uh, ES. Our intermediate. Uh, let's do that. Uh, remember that means rate of appearance, wherever it appears in the products, equals rate of disappearance from the reactants. So where does it appear? Rate 1, and that equals uh, rate 1 reverse, right? And that's where it disappears, plus rate 2. So again, this is a really common sort of expression you get uh, from pseudo-state state hypothesis. Uh, OK, so let's continue. Let's plug in here some of the details. The details are rate 1 is K1 times E times S. That's rate 1. Rate 1 reverse, that's K1 reverse times ES. And then I've got to add rate 2 on there, that's K2. Uh, ES. And don't, I write, I forget, and I write cursive K's and non cursive K's. So, the same K. We want to, we use this in order to solve for ES. We see it right here and here. So, let's factor it out. ES. Let's factor it out. That's K1 prime plus K2 equals, uh, right hand side, still the same. ES. Uh, now what I want to do is solve uh, for ES. Let's do that. This intermediate. Okay. I've got an expression for the intermediate. I'm pretty happy. Uh, however, I'm going to do something... Um, you probably wouldn't have expected. This is, uh, so what I'm going to do right now is not material for our class, but in order to solve the equation for the happy biologist, uh, I need to do a, a couple biology things. Okay? So, uh, this following thing, you wouldn't need to know for an exam or anything, but it'll be important, I guess, for biology exams if you're going that direction. Uh, we're going to have to do, let me remove this, what's called a material balance. Has anybody done that in biology so far? Okay. You will. Uh, you have to do a material balance. The problem is the amount of free E, this thing right here, that concentration, we can't measure that. It's unknown. Uh, it's hard to measure. But we can measure the total amount of enzyme we have, whether by itself or with the enzyme, if that makes sense. So I can, I know, I'm able to know, uh, your book calls this E0. It's the total amount of the enzyme. Well, where is the enzyme? Some of the enzymes all sitting all by itself, not reacting and some of the enzymes attached to the substrate. This is what's called a material balance. That you wouldn't have to know for our class. I'm going to use this to solve for E. E is just E naught, which is the total amount of enzyme, 
uh, minus ES. Okay. Uh, so now I have an expression for E that I can use. I'm going to go back up here. So let me get my red pen. And I'm going to put these two together. Really, these two. Okay, so I'm going to put what I'm going to have to do. I solve for expression for ES, but the problem is I can't measure that E, I guess. So I'm going to use this here and plug that into E. So this is going to be plugged in right there. So again, just some biology things that are helpful for us experimentally. Again, you wouldn't have known to do this. This is E total minus ES. Okay, so again, I took the equation at the very top. Hey, there's another ES term in there. So I'm going to re-solve this one more time for ES. Oh, did I mess up? Oh, yeah. And I didn't write the S. That's unfortunate. Where should I write it? Here? There. Okay. Yeah, I almost forgot to write that S right there. Now I'm going to re-solve for ES one more time, adding this uh, information that is helpful in our biology lab. So let me get a different color, multiply this out. We got K1, we got S, D naught, minus K1, S, uh, ES, equals, same thing on the right hand side, K1 prime plus K2, ES. Okay? So I'm going to move this ES term over here to the right hand side. Let's do that. K1, S, E naught. Still on the left hand side. Equals uh, K1 prime plus K2, ES. Uh, plus K1, S. Yes. I'm going to factor out the ES on the right hand side. That will leave me with uh, K1S, <coughs> K2 plus K1 prime. So I just factored out the ES. Left other side, still the same. So this is just algebra. We're trying to get an expression for intermediate. It's kind of a mess, but we'll eventually get there. Now, our expression for the intermediate is ES equals this whole monster, K1, S, E naught, K1 prime plus K2 plus K1, S. Okay, I'll pause for a second. I just did a lot of algebra. All this in green was just algebra. Did anybody I lose anybody or anybody caught mistake? <laughs> okay. Let's go back to RP. My answer. RP. 